And we're back with the breakfast to talk sports this morning with Monday Thomas. Thank you so much for joining us. Great well, to be here this morning, Murphy. Thank you so much for having me. Now, just a quick one. Victor Simen, uh, Ademola, Lukman, Alex Iwobi, and 20 other players have been included in Jose Pacero's list for the upcoming African Cup of Nations. That's AFCON qualifying doubleheader against Guinea-Bissau. Nigeria and Guinea-Bissau will meet at the Mushuda Biola uh, National Stadium right there, uh, Abuja, from the 5th of, uh, you know, 25th. I beg your pardon, 24th of March, that's 5 p.m. Uh, that Friday, just before jetting out for the reverse fixture three days later in Bissau. Now, two players from the Flying Eagles squad that finished third recently in Egypt, a surprise inclusion uh, for, you know, uh, the game. I mean, we're talking about Joe Aribo, who had struggled for the game with his Southampton team and is also invited. Now, um, I'd like to share your thoughts on that. How how does that really make you feel? To expect a Super Eagles in action. What a time where uh, it's, it's a season where the likes of Demolo Lukman and uh, Victor Simen are blazing the trail right there in the Italian Sierra R. And uh, from the Nigerian point of view, we're, we are supporting these players. We are rooting, this, uh, rooting for these players in Europe. And uh, it will be gracious for them to come to Nigeria and replicate that great performance. Adema Lukman has scored 10 plus goals in uh, the Italian Serie A. And how about Victor Simen? He's getting close to that 30 goal mark in the UEFA Champions League. And I'm talking about all competitions in the Italian Serie A. And it's a great season for Napoli as well. So seeing these players in action for the Super Eagles of Nigeria is going to be great. But there are some uh, lapses for the Super Eagles. The likes of uh, Joe Rebo, who has not been performing, according to reports, he has been demoted to the under-23 of Southampton. So that means in that midfield, we don't really have some great talent. Wilfred Didi, who has been in and out from the Leicester City squad, not very strong. So that's another breakdown in our uh, midfield uh, midfield activities. Uh, Wilfred Didi, uh, Joe Aribo, not forgetting Paulo Nacho, who's not been getting uh, great minutes for Southampton. So if you're looking at it from the... Victor Simon and a developer point of view, we have a great squad. But if you look at it in depthly, the same great games are won in the midfield. And when you don't have a good midfield, that's a big problem. Joseph Asaro calling up some players yesterday. I was quite impressed about him mentioning two players who just finished the under 20 uh, Nations Cup, winning uh, the bronze medal in that particular tournament. The likes of Daniel Bemi and the third choice goalkeeper from Giant Brilliance. I mean, it, it, it comes to tell me that uh, there's, a, there's a chance for home base player, there's a chance for young stars in the, in the, in the country uh, showing some glimpse of hopes. And uh, with this under 20 being included, so that means there is many more to come. Not forgetting Victor Osuchima, who's a second choice goalkeeper, was also invited. He plays for Rivers United. So, in the whole, I think it's a, it's a very good team composed by Joseph Pesairo, but I'm really worried about our midfield. Just like I earlier stated, we don't have the best of hands right now. In current form, we don't have good midfielders. All right. Um, I, do, I do hope that um, Aribo is still training, even if he's been demoted. Uh, one of the best performers for Southampton uh, before the last coach was fired. Um, Jose Pesero, some Nigerians are not convinced of his uh, potential or his um, ability to um, to lift the Super Eagles to where they, they really truly belong. Um, what, what do you expect, you know, of this coach? Because... Um, his his ratio winning ratio has not been too impressive uh, uh, since he became coach of the Super Eagles. He hasn't really had too many opportunities, and this will possibly be the first time Nigerians will really get a feel of uh, Jose Pesero for uh, 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 sub successive games, you know, in 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 a short time. So, what what would you say about the coach's ability, um, based on what he has performed, how he has performed since he became the national team coach, and and of course his history generally. Well, we've not really seen the best of Joseph Passaro yet. I can remember when he was appointed the head coach of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. His main target was to qualify Nigeria to the Nations Cup. Not just qualify Nigeria to the Nations Cup, but go into the Nations Cup and at least finish a, a considerably a very good place. Maybe the second or make it to the semi-final. So we've been playing friendly games. We've also played some uh, qualifiers. If you can remember that, uh, I think it was 10 year trashing of Satome and Principe. Nigerians were in high heavens <laughs> when that particular game. If you want to judge from that game, that Joseph Pesaro 
has come into big Nigeria, a pre-flowing side, a high-scoring side. But, you know, we played against South Tome and Prince. A lot of people also have arguments that that was a very small country. And uh, this doubleheader friendly will also, um, will also give him some marks as far as his scorecard is concerned for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And with the players in form now, just like I rightly mentioned, uh, Coach Joseph Osiro with, uh, with the call-ups of these players, not forgetting Ahmed Musa, who has been called up because of his uh, years of service for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. I think his ability is up there as well. It's still up there. We've not really seen the best of it yet. We've been just seeing friendly games against Portugal, where Nigeria lost wo woefully. It was a sad one, but we've also seen some sweet moments with Coach Joseph Osiro. Let's just wait and see. I I'm pretty sure he's going to qualify Nigeria to the Nations Cup. And at the Nations Cup, that is where he's going to be tried and tested. Well, um, just quickly, I mean, we are really out of time, but I'll just ask you in, in less than a minute uh, what you think about the under-20. Uh, we're looking at the under-20 now, and especially at the time where we know that it's only uh, the likes of Ghana that has taken that. And now looking at Nigeria, do you think we stand a chance, uh, the Flying Eagles right there, uh, playing that thought, please? Or from, first of all, let me start from the African point of view. Senegal are tremendous. And uh, I know that, uh, Ghana are the only African team to win that competition way back in 2017. And guess what? It was hosted by an African uh, country, Egypt. And uh, this year's World Cup in Indonesia, expect a lot from Africa, mercy. The likes of uh, Gambia will also give their very best, not forgetting Senegal as well. And uh, the likes of the third place side. I'm trying to remember the second place side was um for second. I'm trying to remember the second place side, but that's by the way. But let's talk Nigeria right now. We, we, we saw them in the third place game there. They did their very best scoring a whole lo a lot of goals against their opponent. Uh, and uh, seeing them in the Nations Cup or in the Nations Cup, they were prolific. And the World Cup, we we're expecting the best to come. The Lalana Boso is still very confident that it's going to be the head coach. And that is very good for a manager, knowing that he has the security for the next job. That's going to give him confidence to do whatever he wants to do with the boys. And knowing that some of the players already promoted to the Super Eagles of Nigeria. So that means he's been doing a great right. job. So we just expect him to do a great job we have in to the go World now. Cup as well. Uh, Monday we have to go because we're, we will be joining the newsroom at 9 o'clock for the news brief. We're pretty out of time, but the conversation will continue right here on a plus tv africa many thanks for joining us we appreciate you i hope the, con the conversation continues longer <laughs> next time you will. all right then all right that's the size of our package it's been a very thrilling week right here on the breakfast on plus tv africa and uh we will be counting down to elections tomorrow of course plus tv africa election studios will be on uh, throughout the election period we call it the ballot so uh, do make it a date with us uh, through the election as you are voting and even as you're at home. We are online streaming on our YouTube page, Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle, two channels. And you can watch us also, of course, uh, on uh, social media, um, follow our activities on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, as well at Plus TV Africa. Uh, my name is Kofi Bartels. See you on Monday. And I am Messi Bobo. Have a fantastic morning.